As you're probably aware, there has been a war being going on between Zelensky's Ukraine and Russia's Putin. It is to the point where one day a white man with blonde hair and blue eyes and an accent which I don't know if was perhaps Russian or Ukrainian grabbed me by my throat and threw me to the ground and also struck me across the face to the point where I fell to the ground. All because I said I thought that Putin and Zelensky were a part of the same hierarchy. What do I mean by Putin and Zelensky are part of the same hierarchy, you might ask? Well, supposedly it's known by different names, such as the Illuminati, the Hivites, the family, but it's supposedly the same hierarchy where there's a Freemason structure. Whereby the rich have to become Freemasons in order to become rich. No, Zelensky and Putin were both rich before the war in Ukraine. This hierarchy supposedly consists of Goliath corporations such as Blackrock and Blackstone, government, religious institutions, and more. Elizabeth too was supposedly at the top of this Illuminati hierarchy pyramidical structure. Nations are supposedly listed as corporations owned by the banks or owned by the banking families or owned by the oligarchs. Meaning that government which represents nationality probably represents the interests of the banks, not the people. When one looks at the war in Ukraine, that much is obvious. Russians didn't get to vote on whether to invade Ukraine or not and whether to go to war in Ukraine or not. Peace protesters, anti-war, pro-peace posters, pro peace protesters have been criminalized in Russia, in a sense. In Ukraine, Zelensky cancelled the main political opposition party to Zelensky uh, because of the phobia that the party might be too neutral or pro-Russian. Which is interesting because maybe if there was less pro Russia phobia in the Ukrainian government, perhaps there might be some kind of attempt to end the war with Russia, and perhaps the whole war situation might have even been avoided in the first place. According to the Russian Times, the war in Ukraine began when the Russian, sorry, when the Ukrainian government killed pro-Russian language speaking Ukrainian separatists who didn't want to be part of Ukraine, wanted to be a part of Russia. And when the Ukrainian government began supposedly persecuting Russian speakers in Ukraine. And well, there's the biolabs weapon sort of story as well. Of course, the Russian government shares the blame because it takes two to tango and Ukraine did not invade itself without the Russian military. However, if Zelensky hadn't have cancelled his uh, neutral or pro-Russian main opposition political party, then perhaps a lot of this sort of stuff could have been avoided and the whole war might have been avoided. In Ukraine, the Ukrainian government cancels the main political opposition to itself, so the Ukrainian people do not actually have a choice to say, hey, we want peace, we don't want this war with Russia. And brutally, 400,000 Ukrainians or more have died in this war, which is horrible. In Russia, the people in Russia are not getting a choice to say, hey, we don't want this war, we don't want to be invaded, Ukraine. Because anti-war, pro-peace, Protests have effectively been criminalized. 
And people on both sides are supposedly being conscripted and forced to go fight. I do not agree with the war at all. As I stated in my document letters, I think that people ought to have the right to life. And that includes for Ukrainian speaking Ukrainians and Russian speaking Ukrainians and Russian speaking Russians and Ukrainian speaking Russians not to be killed in their own homes, their own homeland. I think that Christianity is more important than nationality anyway. Well, silver Christianity anyway. Because thou shalt not kill. Because, because anti-pedestry stance because sexual assault and and rape are lust sins in Christianity depending on how it's interpreted because in Christianity or rather silver Christianity there is emphasis on the rich to give to the poor and for the poor to fill up one's cup and to pursue abundance which I differentiate from being greedy because in silver Christianity there is free will. Because in silver Christianity there's the ability to repent and there's the ability for, to have forgiveness. To grow. To be a better person, to be the best version of oneself. And so much more. Irrespective of whether Zelensky wins or whether Putin wins, silver Christianity ought to stay the same. And for silver Christians to be able to live their lives with free will, to be able to eat good food and be nourished, and not to starve to death, to be able to live safely without being raped or killed, and to be blessed with so much more. Governments have a history of screwing with their own people. Invading governments have a history of violence and rape under military occupation. So in conclusion, that's why I think the religion, Christianity, 